Welcome to Franco Planet YouTube channel. In this emission, we are going to introduce you to French culture, French history, French cuisine, French music, and many more things. As a part of it, I have come to a Francophone country called Madagascar. Madagascar is located in Indian Ocean near to the African coast. I am in the capital city of Madagascar called Antananarivo. Antananarivo is located among the hills. As you can see in the background, the beautiful skyline and hills. And it's 11 o'clock in the morning here, still very cold. In our first episode, we are going to introduce you to an extraordinary French gentleman, a self-taught architect called Ferdinand Cheval, famously known as Factor Cheval. He built his ideal palace with his bare hands. Let me take you to a beautiful journey in which you will see the beautiful palace built by Ferdinand Sheva. If you are at the bend of a street in the village of Hauterive, in the department of Drôme, in the southeast France, the universe of Ferdinand Cheval surprises you. In a lush green garden, the postman Cheval imagined his palace populated by an incredible best tree like octopus, deer, leopard, elephant, birds and many other things. There are also three giants, fairies, mythological characters among exotic vegetation and the architecture from all continents. A whole world marrying east and west. Now it is known as masterpiece of raw architecture. Joseph Ferdinand Cheval, better known as the Postman Cheval, was born on April 19, 1836 in Charm sur les Bars and died on August 19, 1924 in haute -Rive. He is a French postman famous for having spent 33 years of his life building a monument he called the Ideal Palace. He also spent 8 more years building his own tomb. Palace and tomb both are considered masterpieces of raw architecture. In April 1879, Ferdinand Cheval, a rural postman, then 43 years old, during his rounds, stumbles on a stone so bizarre that it awakens a dream in him. Self-taught architect, he will devote 33 years of his life to build a dream palace in his vegetable garden. Inspired by nature, the postcards and the first illustrated magazines that he distributes traveling more than 30 kilometers on foot every day for his rounds, he will pick up stones on his way. For his neighborhood, Postman Cheval then becomes a strange being, a poor fool who during his rounds piles up stones, comes back in the evening to get them with the help of his wheelbarrow to fill his garden with them. He began the construction of his monument, which he did not yet call the ideal palace in 1879. To carry out his project, the postman will bring several tons of materials. He will collect flat stones, shells, clinkers or even old tiles. All these elements were then assembled at nightfall in candlelight using mortar. As a result, in a surrealist structure built on extremely solid foundations, we can see a mosque next to a Hindu temple, giant effigy of personalities like Archimedes, Julius Caesar. This totally uninhabitable building in its final version measures 26 meter long and 12 meter high. While he is considered an eccentric in his neighborhood, Joseph Ferdinand Cheval is now considered by specialists in art, architecture and construction techniques as a visionary. Reinforced concrete did not exist at the turn of the century. However, he uses a method comes close. Once his work was completed in 1912, the postman continued to collect stones and got down to another project. He has just learned that French law does not allow him to be buried 
in his ideal palace. He therefore decided to build his own tomb in the town cemetery, a task that takes him eight years. The man died two years later, satisfied to have achieved his two architectural goals. After his death, the tomb was abandoned and Factor Cheval was forgotten and he remained anonymous for centuries in spite of support by great artists like Picasso, André Breton, Max Howe, many people mocked his art. If you are interested to know more about Factor Cheval, you can watch the French movie L'Incroyable Histoire de Factor Cheval released in 2019 in English Incredible Story of Factor Cheval.